Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to OMFG Wrestling. I just want to say, um, you may hear some noise in the background, so I apologize for that. But in today's video, I'm super excited for. Um, so, <laughs> in one of my favorite segments that went down on Raw, we saw, um, we're, we're gonna see The Miz, and, you know, he has his whole Miz TV thing going on, and he, his guest happens to be Enzo. Um, but before he brings out Enzo, before he even gets to um, introduce him to the crowd and, you know, um, into the show, his show, The Miz, Miz TV. Let me get it together. Um, he has a really special announcement to make to the WWE Universe that's very heartfelt and actually really um, touching. So let's just get on to this because it's really, really just it, probably the best segment that went down on Raw last night, I have to say. My opinion. You like the outfit? <laughs> you like the Bo Dallas. <laughs> Bo Dallas is like, like to wearing a gold blazer. announcement that will change WWE forever. My wife and I have been thinking long and hard about how we wanted to announce this special news and we thought about it long and hard and we thought there's no better place to announce it than the first place that we've met. And that is here in the WWE in front of all of you. Aww. So, without further ado, my wife Maurice and I are, uh, go ahead, babe. We're having a baby! <laughs> Aww. Oh my goodness. That's so sweet. Congrats to the Miz and Maurice. That is so sweet. <laughs> Never would I thought I'd say anything of theirs was sweet, but that is very sweet. Maurice, I pledge to you. Unlike Kurt Angle, I will be there for our child from day one. I can't with the Miz. To honor this little miracle. I've prepared a speech. Fatherhood is a privilege that belongs to great men that... Bo Dallas is looking super offended that Enzo just came this out and interrupted the noise. I'm gonna have to agree though. I mean, you know, because that's a special moment in anybody's life, having a child. And, you know, I mean, like. This guy, I mean, his own father is a lover of the league. Well, he looks like he's wearing his My name is Angel Omori, and I am a certified G and a bona fide stunt. And you can't be that. I'm just gonna have to say the audience is like way too happy that he interrupted the Miz. I get it, the Miz is like super hated, but I mean like come on, like, you know, it was a special moment. I mean I get it, I get it. That's his whole of course he's gonna come out and everyone interrupts the Miz, like that's the whole shtick of it. Like, you know, like it usually happens that they interrupt him, he gets pissed off, they might get into like a couple of fisticuffs or something like that. But, you know, I mean, assuming, I'm assuming that they're not trying to play us, you know, and be like, I think the audience will be, will be behind Enzo no matter what. At this point, it's like, he can do no wrong in their eyes for whatever reason, but, I mean, I don't Maybe have... you don't comprehend this, but you just interrupted 
a deeply personal moment between my wife and I. Understand that this is my show, and I announce you when I'm ready. No, 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 hey, listen, bro, I told me to hit my music. Hey, I'm supposed to be out at B. I wanted to come out and celebrate. That was great news. I wanted to celebrate with you and your wife, Maurice. Hey, don't. Don't you dare how you doing, my wife. All right, touche. Might have been taken out of context, but uh, nonetheless, you know, sometimes I tend not to think before I speak. And that's the trouble with you, isn't it? You don't think. When you Ain't came from NXT truth. to WWE Monday Night Raw, you and Cass were the next big thing. He just you speaks. You would sell out merchandise, pay-per-views with John Cena. Everyone loved Enzo and Cass, but look at you now. Time progresses, and you don't know when to shut your mouth. You don't listen. You think you know everything better than everybody else. That's why you're kicked out of WWE tour buses, and that is why you are kicked out of the WWE locker room. Oh, uh, ouch. Oh. You think you chose? You think you chose to bring your personality to the cruiserweight division? There was nowhere else for you to go because no one on the oh. WWE Monday Night uh. roster can stand you. Oh my God. That's coming from me. <laughs> it's coming from the mess who no one can stand. See, I can help you. I've been in your shoes. I've, I've, I've rubbed people the wrong way in WWE when I first started, but unlike you, I regrouped, I rebranded, and I earned respect. You coming out here, you coming out here, instead of asking for my advice, asking for my help, learning, you interrupt my wife and I, our most sacred moment of my entire life, not my career, my life. I see so much, so much freaking talent in you, but you make mistake after mistake after mistake. And I am sick of watching it. You go to, you go to 205 Live Fit, you think you'll hang with someone like Neville? Uh. Neville, who hones his craft in the WWE. His he can never hang with Neville, okay? Enzo can never hang with Neville. Just saying. We care Leave your comments WWE down below. Is to perfect in this WWE ring. You, all you care about is hanging out with third-rate rappers. Uh, if you guys just check out his Instagram, you'll probably understand everything that The Miz is saying about Enzo right now because it's facts. Guys like Neville and guys in the cruiserweight division, they do aerials that leave the WWE universe speechless. When you're on the top rope, you fall flat on your face. Ooh. You don't have a seven foot tall meal ticket anymore. Yeah, oh, all you got now shit. is nothing more than oh. people can look at you and look at the you're nothing more than a con artist with a couple of catchphrases. Ooh. Oh man, he laid it out. He laid it out. So you want to get real? Well, allow me to remind you, I am the realest guy in the room. One of those catchphrases right there. Okay. Not starting out very strong, but uh, we'll keep on going. And as you alluded to, Mikey, me and you have been in similar situations, but you and I have got nothing in common. You made enemies in that locker room because you copied everybody. You copied the likes of Chris Jericho and Ric Flair. Well, maybe this gets annoying, all right? But I'll tell you one thing about this. This and I, we are original. And you, you ain't, okay? You're a carbon copy of other people. All right, pal? I'm just going to say it, that S-A-W-F-T, that soft thing, that whole saying was around when I was in high school, which was like more than seven years ago, 
more than seven years ago. So, and like, I don't know, man, he's saying he's original. I, his outfits, I'm, I'm going to give it to him. His outfits are definitely original um, because like no one's going to be caught dead wearing what he's wearing anyways. But um, I don't know about the whole... I, I don't know, 100% original? I'm not sure. Original to a, to a degree, yes, but I, I don't know. I don't know, Enzo. I am going on to No Mercy to become the Cruiserweight Champion after I beat Neville. And you, I got no problem coming back on Raw. I'm going to be you, in you tears if Neville loses. To Enzo. Oh my goodness. I'm a paper champion. Hmm. I'm a paper champion. But I gotta give it to Enzo though. At least he could spar with the Miz, you know? Very few people Miz, can do you that. Think I'm a paper champion? Of course they're going to agree with Enzo, you though, you're so... Oh, no, you, you, think, you, think, you think you're championship material? How do you think you're championship material? If you were championship material, your best friend wouldn't have abandoned you. Woo! So true. So hey, listen, true. I've got a lot of friends, alright? But the only two things I need, I got to fight you right here, right now! what you're getting into understand that i'm going to show you how to walk talk and look and act like a champion and i'll tell you what i'm going to dedicate my victory to my unborn child oh no i'll apologize to that baby when it's born okay but daniel bryan was right there's only one word to describe you, and I'm going to spell it out for you. F-A-W-F-D-Z! I hope general manager Kurt Angle's listening, and we got to make this matchup. I hope it happens next live on Monday Night Raw. All right, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this altercation between The Miz and Enzo. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you agree with The Miz? Did you agree with Enzo? Um, let me know. I would love to hear it in the comments down below. Um, I know this, you guys, this was like my favorite segment. He tore in. He tore in into Enzo. He tore him apart. That was crazy. And I don't know if you guys caught that, but when he was saying like, oh, I may not have a lot of friends, it's almost like his voice was like um, cracking or like it was like he was really in his feelings right then and there. I don't know if it was just me who heard that kind of thing. But um, oh my god, like he, The Miz really did have some valid points and hopefully Enzo was listening, you know, like hopefully he takes what The Miz is saying into consideration uh, because it's true. Like I think what he was saying was true and I think he just needs to learn how to shut his mouth a little bit more, you know, it's <laughs> it's so much easier to be like liked and likable when you don't have so much to say. I mean, like, it's not like he needs to be silent. It's just one of those things where he really just has no filter and just doesn't know how to regulate what comes out of his mouth, you know? But anyways, that's just how I feel about it. Let me know how you feel about it. And if you like the video, make sure to give it a like. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to continue seeing more videos from me. I would really appreciate it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye.